Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I'll be reviewing some CBD hemp flour from a place called Fern Valley Farms. And first off, I just want to say that this video is not sponsored. I paid for the product myself and just wanted to make a review for anyone who is shopping around or just generally interested in hemp flour. With that out of the way, if you didn't already know from the title of this video, the strain I'll be reviewing is the Kush from Fern Valley Farms, specifically their smalls. So let's go ahead, open this bag up, and give it a sniff. Right away, you're hit with this sweet, terpene heavy aroma. There's notes of some kind of citrus peel and a familiar piney, earthy pepperiness that's typical of a lot of Kush strains. But the sweetness is really what caught my eye, or I guess I should say my nose. And it's not a fruity sweetness like some strains have, but more of a sweet, earthy richness. It's hard to explain, but it smells like if you were to take a bite of it, you'd just expect it to taste sweet. So right away, based on the smell, you can tell that this bud has a good cure to it. There's a lot of complexity there that you wouldn't get from bud that's dried to a crisp or otherwise poorly cured. The second thing that caught my attention was that the bag came with this Bovita Terpene Shield Pack. These are little humidity regulators that stop your bud from drying out or collecting too much moisture from the air. If you keep this thing with your bud, especially in an airtight container like a mason jar or something, your stash will stay perfectly cured and fragrant for months, even years. So it's pretty cool that they just throw this in as a bonus. And this is what the buds look like. Again, this is their small bud. So these are the ones that didn't quite meet the size standard for their full size bud option. But smalls are usually a better deal, sometimes a much better deal. And if you get them from someone who cures and handles them properly, they'll be just as good as the big ones. To give you an idea of the price, this bag was listed as being 14 grams. They actually sent me about 16 grams and it was priced at 15 US dollars. That means it's about a dollar a gram, which is a really good deal, especially considering the quality here. Now about this Kush strain, how did a CBD hemp strain end up with traditional Kush characteristics? Well, the exact strain is called Kush Hemp E1, and it was bred by Sovereign Fields from Oregon. One of its parents was the pre-98 Bubba Kush marijuana strain, and this is where it's getting its Kush genetics from. So that's an indica dominant strain known mostly for producing a strong, relaxing body high. There's not a lot of reliable information about where pre-98 came from other than, you know, sometime before the year 1998. Then there's the other strain that went into Kush hemp, which is just called Elite Hemp. And there's even less information out there about this one. My guess is that this is an in-house strain that Sovereign Fields uses in their breeding program. And it's where they're getting the high CBD, low THC ratio, and most likely other traits that are favorable for farming, like plant structure and disease resistance and stuff. Speaking of farms, this bud was organically grown by the folks at Fern Valley Farms, which is a family-owned hemp farm from Southern Oregon. And yes, I did say organically grown. They don't use any pesticides or synthetic fertilizers or anything like that. And most of their products are actually USDA certified organic. So if you're into hemp products and you haven't checked them out yet, I highly recommend them. Well, the only thing left to do now is give this bud a try. I've got a PAX2 dry herb vaporizer here and about 0.4 grams of bud. I let this bud dry out for a few hours because I'm vaporizing it instead of smoking it. If you're smoking it, obviously don't dry it out. That Bovita Terpene Shield pack will keep it nice and sticky for smoking. And the PAX is ready, so I'll go ahead and take a hit. It tastes amazing. When you vaporize it, you really get all of the subtle flavors instead of just that burnt weed smell. It's piney, it's woodsy, the taste isn't as sweet as the smell, it's a bit more earthy and floral. Really well rounded though, it tastes great. After a few hits from the packs, I can start to feel the effects. Everything just feels a bit more chill and calm. Surprisingly though, it doesn't feel too sedating or sleepy. 
you could easily use this strain during the day. Like, it's not going to knock you out or anything, but I wouldn't describe it as energizing by any means. It's definitely more relaxing with a bit of a body high. And it is CBD, so there's none of that mental cloudiness or paranoia or anything. It just feels chill. In terms of strength, they advertise on their website that it's around 18.45% CBD, which is pretty high. It only takes a few hits for me to start feeling it, and I seem to only need to vape about half a gram in a session. So it's definitely up there on the stronger end of the spectrum. I would absolutely buy this one again, and I'm looking forward to trying some other strains from Fern Valley Farms now because the quality here is really good. If you dig this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe so I know to upload more like this. And if you have any recommendations, go ahead and leave them in the comments. I'm always on the lookout for new brands and strains. But until next time,